What's up, what it do, my lovely Reese Cups? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on and give this video a big thumbs up. How's everyone doing on this lovely Saturday? Yes, so today, as you all see, I am doing B Love's Life's Nails. And this video is old, y'all. Um, I want to say this was last year. I'm doing some breast cancer nails. So uh, I know it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I decided to post this video today for this month. So y'all, right now, I have already did her fill-in. And I am just drawing a breast cancer ribbon on her nail. And then I'm going to fill it in with some stones. And to anyone who is fighting breast cancer right now, or any type of cancer, um, may God be with you. And I hope and pray that you get through this because I know it's not easy. So y'all, um, right now, like I said, I am doing her breast cancer ribbon and I'm just outlining it with this silver so I know where to put my pink stones at. And shout out to these three people here who was the first to comment on my last video. Shout out to y'all. Woo woo. Y'all, I am almost at 7,000 subscribers, y'all. I'm geeking. Like, let's get to 10K. Because once I get to 10K, it's on and popping for your girl. So, y'all, the inspirational word of the day is be kind. So, yes, be kind. Being kind to others is the most grateful thing you can do because it's so many mean people out there. Like, I be looking at some of these comments sometimes and people just be talking so much stuff. Like, and it just be so crazy. Like, of course, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but just some of the stuff that these people be saying, just like, um, you could have kept that to yourself, honey. But being kind, because if you be kind, you will succeed in life and you will get respect from others. So be kind. And it's okay to speak your opinion because you're entitled to that. And I feel like good criticism is great. But don't go talking all that bull stuff and you're just making yourself look crazy on here. So yes, be kind to others so you can have others be kind to you. Oh yeah, and I got a story time for y'all. Well, not even a story time. I just want to tell you something. So for a minute, I thought I might have had breast cancer. Y'all, this was like about a year ago. I had went to the doctor because I had this lump. I still got it. This lump on the side of my breast. Like, so I just kept feeling it and it just kept like just rolling around. And I'm like, this thing hurt. So I asked my doctor what it was. She told me it was a lymph node. Um, I don't know how I got it, where it came from, but it's been there for years. It just like kind of got a little bit bigger and it was just hurting like when somebody like lay on it or if I like push hard on it or whatever. And it's on the side, 
I noticed that one of my boobs is bigger than the other. Everybody's is, but like mine is noticeable. And it's on the side where the one is bigger. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? Like, I was crying. I was nervous. Like, I hope I don't have breast cancer. So uh, my doctor told me if it move around and you can push down on it, it's not cancerous or nothing like that. But she just want to keep an eye on it to make sure it don't get no bigger. So, like I said, I don't know where it came from or what happened, but if anybody know about lymph nodes and breasts or whatever, please comment below and let me know like where it come from and how it, that happens and do it go down or do it stay? Like, just let me know some information about it. So when I'm using a certain color stone, I like to paint the background the same color as the stone. So I use this AB polish to paint the back of the nail before I put these stones on there. Just so like if it's little gaps, um, it won't look noticeable. So a lot of times I do that. But with the breast cancer sign, I should have painted it pink or left it pink. But the outside of the breast cancer, I'm going to fill it in with these AB crystals.
local San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get a service just like that started. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. So on this one, I'm going to be using some Neon Swarovski, Swarovski crystals, however you say it. And then I'm going to outline the pink ones with the silver AB crystals. And I like to use um, super glue just so I won't have to put a gel coat on top of the stones. Because I feel like when you put a gel coat on top of the stone, it dulls them out and it's not really a shiny. So um, the super glue, the crazy glue, whatever type of super glue you got, it helps the stone stick like all the way until it's time for them to get they fill in and maybe even longer. So y'all, y'all be seeing them big crystals on her hands. Yeah, I use those with this super glue and it stays like I use that and sometimes I use um, acrylic because that works too but sometimes the acrylic don't work because it'll slide right off but super glue definitely is the key um, I know some people said that you can use gel but the gel like I said in my previous I don't know what video it was I was talking about it when I said I was using gel at first and then people kept coming back complaining that they stones was coming off but I don't know I guess I probably wasn't using it right or what but the gel it seems not to work for me so the glue works a lot better it's just that you got to know where you want to place your stones at when you use the glue because if you don't then you're gonna have to pick them off with a nipper a, a cuticle nipper or a, um, a nail clipper and sometimes when you do that it leaves like the back of the stone stuck there or if you don't pull it off right you can break the stone
So y'all, I was looking for the clip that I had did after I did this nail, but for some reason I could not find it. So all you all will see is me do the pinky and the ring finger and then the other nails you'll see close to the end once I show you the video. But I don't know why I couldn't find the other video where I put the rest of the stones on the nails. And I remember doing this on Beagle Live because this is when I used to get on Beagle all the time. But when I looked at my uh, Bego screen record, I couldn't find it on there either. So I don't know. But hopefully you all like this video, even with some pieces missing.
so y'all i am done with these nails here's the finishing product i hope you all like this video make sure you like comment subscribe see you all in the next video love you peace Mwah.